This is a Danger Entertainment Network podcast. DangerEntertainment.net. Danger Entertainment Network podcasts. Hey, Scott. Uh, been a while since we said hello to the Dangerlings. You're right. Hi, Dangerlings. <laughs> it's Scott Wilson Besgrove, a.k.a. Wolfgang Hemingway, a.k.a. Karagor Wanfang, a.k.a. Kara Bonhara, a.k.a. Shaka Bonhaka, a.k.a. Danny Carragher. That was it, I think. That's that a lot was of the names. Whole bit. It was really good. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for getting contact. Thanks for talking to your friends about it. Thanks for doing art. It's all great. We love it. And it runs on you. You are the fuel to our fire. We didn't start the fire, but it was always burning since this podcast has been turning. Thank you very much. Also, big up Billy Joel. <laughs> Previously on the Danger Club podcast. <laughs> I'm going to shout Naraya and throw the flail to Shania. I will not fight my brothers. I look at Caragor, <laughs> I crick my neck and I run towards him. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, I'll uh, see you, Fulton. <laughs> Let me see you. It's a natural 20. Caragor! I could do this all day. As he lets go and he tries to cop a feel. You know what you did, right? <laughs> Tell me that you know what you did. You swing the flail down into the back of his head and it just goes... Stop! 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 The adventure continues now. Okay, now we're rolling. Honestly, I uh, hope we can have another rolling bass song. Last Keep few- rolling, 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 <laughs> rolling. We have done that one. Keep roll- what? Have we? Yeah, ever since. We've definitely we done, done all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Go rolling. look up some more rolling bass songs, uh, Ross, so we can do some more of these. In the meantime, hello, everyone, and Whee! welcome to the Danger Club yeah. podcast. I'm just going to go ahead and take Elvar off the initial tracker here um, because we're not going to be needing him um, any longer. Yeah, how's it feel, Dan? <laughs> Us killing your NPCs. You kill my NPCs all the time. <laughs> that is, yeah. The whole yeah, premise of this that show. Is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that was a uh, a critical flail? Hey. Oh. No, it was, it was the opposite. Was no, I mean it was the, basically did that joke. It was, it was the opposite. Who did? Yeah, How does Shania did. feel right now? Yeah, didn't some, hear it. Some flail. Didn't hear it. That's right. Listen to the episode back. You'll hear it. Then. <laughs> How does Shania feel right now? Also retweet as well, right? Um, <laughs> I'll leave a review. Shania. Sh- well, I mean, obviously she's uh, she's she's pretty pretty angry. Um, but you know, I didn't need to tell you that. You could tell that just by listening to the episode. Yeah, I would right, imagine. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you say there was a bit of genuine anger there? Like from, from as a player, uh, well, yeah. I mean, I yeah, I, I yeah. When Dan when Dan said it, yeah, I think I you know I I I, I felt genuine outrage, definitely. Yeah. Um. Uh, even though you know, obviously, I've sort of never really been in that position, but uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, yeah. So I, I think I saw Fuck Red as a player guy. as well. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. Man. Yeah. Yep. Righteous. <clears throat> Sam. You know what you did. That was just so cold. <laughs> just yeah. uh, really, we're really, we've done a few scatterings of when justified murder is justifiable, haven't we? Uh, during the past few episodes, the past sort of things, when it's justifiable in a fantasy setting, it's all been like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. 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 The, thing is, the thing is, I thought he was going to crawl away and apologise and maybe pee his pants a bit and that would be fine. Like, you'd have been like, I'm really, really sorry. I know what I did. I shouldn't have done it. Da, da, da. He didn't. He picked up the club. He, <laughs> he stood did. up and oh, he yeah. picked up the club. It's like, well, yeah. you're, you're, fuck you, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, thought when I, was, I, I thought when she was strangling me, he was trying, he was trying to say sorry. Yeah. Um, it sounded like that. And, yeah. uh, you know, there was, the, you know, there, there, there could possibly have been... Um, you know like if he'd begged for his life enough and looked pitiful enough you know he might have escaped with his life yeah. but you know it was it was a, it was a tiny weeny margin and, and he fucked that up right and proper yeah Damn, is there loads of stuff we could have found out about El- I mean Elvar had Elvar. A, Elvar had certainly had a backstory I don't yeah. think you would have liked him anymore if you'd have found it out you might have understood his <laughs> actions a bit more and then still probably wanted to kill right, him right, with a flail. Right. Um, he was not. So a, he was, he was a nasty piece of work. He certainly wasn't a good person. Okay. Um, it's possible that good people are not naturally drawn to join this uh, this particular organisation. Uh, he was an angry young man who was particularly angry uh, at a particular gender. Uh, we can say. 
um, which may have influenced his actions. And so okay. <laughs> probably had it coming. Right, yeah. So <clears throat> influenced the reactions and... Uh, and left him without a head, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which is fun. That's fun. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So as we bid farewell to our uh, our little fantasy land incel, um, and we move on with our adventure adventurous lives, um, how are we feeling about how the plan's going? We're one day in. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, we're certainly not sneaking under the radar. It's. It, well, at least they haven't found the weapons, yeah. which is yeah. good. It's, it's going, yeah. it's going less well. I feel like than the Camarga plan. I mean, um, as so I far think as as far as we are doing what they are telling us to do, it's gone 100. Yeah. percent they, yeah. they've asked yeah. us to do this. They put us in these situations. It's we true. have done it. We're not, not. We, it's not like we all sat there and refused to fight and like sat down. We did it. Did what they asked. Mm-hmm. They also, just, you know, what do you expect when you throw a uh, lethal damage? Yeah. Mace into it, or like a flail into it. Oh, yeah, Someone going to die. <laughs> he did not risk assess this uh, <laughs> yeah. group activity. I and I think, uh, well done, everyone, because there was obviously an option that we could have all just been like, no, I will not fight, and sat down and just let. Because my, my biggest fear was that uh, Elvar was going to get the flail and seriously hurt one of you guys. So as soon as the flail was at the fight, I was like, well, we could all just sit down now, really, couldn't we? And, yeah, well, I, I didn't care about the wine. Certainly, Velda had no interest in winning, and it was not. Yeah, that was. He uh, was never going to fight. Garigal's first thing was just take him out of the fight. Right, that's done. Surely, yeah. surely this will this will go easy now. But it turned into weirdly a bit of therapy for Fulton and Carigal Then both yeah. Uh, yeah. both yeah. finding out some stuff or working yeah. stuff out where they couldn't work it out verbally. Maybe was, will uh, there yeah. be a rematch <laughs> in a volcano <laughs> 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 when Fulton takes the high ground? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but Caragor's going to wake up in the middle of the night to Fulton just standing over him holding a flail. <laughs> You're not better than me. <laughs> See it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, so we know who we know who the better character is now. <laughs> been, been putting those character sheets up uh, on Twitter, saying uh, yeah. which of these characters is is, is the better character, and, uh, and now we know. Uh, out of interest, <laughs> just how much points? Of, how many points of non-lethal damage did Fulton take? Uh, I'm I have sixty six, um, and I think I took two from the last one, so I was on forty four, uh, forty two. Okay, forty two. So that was so, a full third of your hit points yeah because that was a heck of a kick Caracol landed <laughs> yeah, on that that so was good that, I could really see that one in my mind's eye just a proper whoosh, and uh, possibly a little slow down effect of a little shock wave <laughs> Fulton going <laughs> that sort of thing you know it was, it was big what yeah. kind of um, Not, ordinarily I wouldn't uh, 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 linger on such a thing that would inflate Caracol's ego but it's been a while since he got a critical hit or <laughs> yeah. took anything down so fine all right what kind of slide. crit uh, things have they got then? Is it well, like on that one card? I don't want to spoil it and look at all the other ones. I've still got the I've still got this card in front of me. There's um, if I was using a piercing weapon, there's a headshot, uh, and then if there's a slashing weapon, there's a from chops to groin. Oh, <sighs> isn't, isn't and then there's one for a bomb or a spell which is just called doomed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! So yeah. we're lucky. Is this is a non-lethal combat. Yeah, is there something there that are like insta death? No matter even if it's not well, that was a big thing of the last deck, wasn't it? Apparently there was a I decapitation. Don't think that's still yeah. in there. Because you could just have kicked my head off. From your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Imagine that. You know what? <laughs> I remember um, I, I played one of the original systems of this way, way back at school. And um, I was playing a female character and this other guy was taking a mick. And uh, I was running around trying to punch him and it's all very funny and I kept missing. And then I punched him. And just the way the ways the rules worked, it, it would have ended up punching his head off. <laughs> and he was so yeah. mortified. I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm really tempted just to let this ride. But yeah. all right, we'll pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, I got a crit and it was like, yeah, there's this um, effect table in the back of the book. And it was, yeah, oh my took his head off. <laughs> what you have done if yeah. you'd old, you old just, school co- RPG? Yeah, what don't, you don't tease. <laughs> if you just killed Fulton. <laughs> Just, I, I, I don't know. Imagine I that. Commit, had a life, a massive crisis, joined the cult, <laughs> tried to pass the star zone test, become a god, and then reverse his own actions. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you what, you'd have been enjoying a lovely bottle of wine, is what you would have <laughs> <laughs> I That's wonder how the dangerlings would have reacted to that. Yeah, right. Caragor killed Ooh. Fulton. Right, that would have been Greek, some Greek tragedy shit right yeah. there. Caragor no mates. There is yeah. nice stuff, like, Doomed is really bad. Do- the Doomed condition is awful, if you get that. Uh, doomed has a number attached to it. Uh, doomed b- b- is the uh, additional uh, step you go on your death count if you go down. 
So, right. Oh god. So dying four means is permanently dead. So if, when you go down normally, if you go down to zero hit points, uh, you go down to dying one, and then you start making saves and maybe going. Around. If you have say doomed one, if you go down, you go to dying two immediately. If you have doomed two, you go to. Uh, if you have doomed three. If you go to zero hit points, you are instantly killed. Oh, God. Doomed is a really nasty condition to have, and it just takes a while to get rid of. And do you have to say it in a Scottish accent? Doomed. <laughs> doomed. 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 But someone who didn't have to um, go make any kind of death saving throws, you'll notice, um, was Elvar, and that is because of massive damage rules. We didn't just hand wave that, although... I would have been tempted as a DM for uh, an NPC getting a flail to the head while asleep. <laughs> but uh, it's probably going to get massive save to that. Um, but yeah, that is... Um, if you take... If you take, I think it's a total of hit... Total hit points equal to your total hit points. Or twice your total hit points in a single hit. Then you are instantly killed. And I can tell you that that critical hit did more than twice Elvar's maximum hit points in a sweet <laughs> single swing. So he was obliterated. No need for a death count. No need for saving throws. Anything like that. Um, so he is dead. Which uh, may complicate things. It certainly makes things more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly puts another spanner in Krant's day. <laughs> He's not been having a good no. day at all, has he? <laughs> Your old buddy Krant. Uh, who is still, I should point out, covered in chili. <laughs> yeah, and right. feeling a little bit groggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's drugged. still sleepy, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and has been already chewed out by his boss for not having good control over you all. Uh, he also got in trouble because uh, because you guys answered back to the uh, to the herald. That yeah, was just me. Yeah, just, yeah. But uh, as a group, yeah. so yeah, and uh, so he is. Uh, yeah, things are going all right for him. So let's jump back in and uh, see how you manage the rest of your day here. Uh, you just, Krant just looks in horror at what has just transpired. This, stop! Stop! Oh no! What do you expect? You, look, I didn't think you would swing like, I didn't think you would swing with that kind of force. Ah, what's, look at the mess! Hey, Karagor is uh, uh, perhaps in view of the rest of the Danger Club, but trying to hide it from Cran, smiling at Shania and just to himself, looks at Fulton and looks back at, <laughs> at Elvar and goes, "Cop, cop." <laughs> Fulton gets up and uh, goes to high five Shania. What is stop, stop with that, uh, Shania? Would you like to reciprocate the high five? Um, not just at the moment, okay. I don't think. She's a little bit too. Um, she's still, she's still burning. Oh. Um, Awkward. She, uh, she, she gives him a little look <laughs> and a shake of the head, um, and uh, walks, um, walks over to uh, to Crant. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> says, <clears throat> "Listen, this is your mess to clean up now. You understand? Okay. <laughs> if you wish to talk to me again." Need to sort this out. Was this even, was this even uh, something that is lawful? Hmm? You think this is a lawful way to 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 run your your things? Are you not hmm? entertained? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <clears throat> um, if you wish to speak with me again, you can come and find me. I will be down in in our in our quarters. Uh, make a make an intimidation check. <laughs> Intimidate Krant. Let's find out how brave he's feeling. Uh, Eleven. Eleven, okay. (laughs) How how dare you speak to me like that? How dare I speak to you? How dare you? I was just abused here within your walls. This is on you. You understand? And she walks off. Okay. He thinks about it. But does not try. Does not try to stop you. Uh, he is. He was demor- He is demoralized um, by your uh, by your shout. So he's, he stops for a moment and like, looks around the rest of you. He goes, "Not if you get the wine. You've ruined this exercise." And you, he turns to Bubba. He says, "Think you can just think you can just not take part? Think you think you can just." Fit there? Think I won't notice? No. 
No, no, this is this is highly disrespectful. Uh, I will uh, see to it. Do you know what? All of you are doing extra transcription duties tonight. Uh, well, you will learn. You will all learn to uh, to 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 do what your betters tell you. Brother Kranz, what? What did you expect was going to happen? In all these times you've done this training and you hand a mace, uh, a flail, to in the middle of a room, uh, what do you think is going to happen? I didn't expect you to just kill him outright. I thought you just just hurt each other. That's what everyone does normally. Just, just, how am I going to explain this mess to the Herald? An acolyte, dead in the middle of a training exercise. Oh, Look, two of you, get his body. We're going to put it down to death. Uh, uh, Karagor uh, offers to go take the body. Okay. So do I. And be, uh, as he does that, he bows to Brother Krant and says, Brother Krant, respectfully, uh, I won that bout and I didn't go against any of your rulings. I did what you asked and I won. Am I still, uh, do I still have to do transcribing duties? No, fine. You can do it. You can take the evening off. Thank you, Brother Krant. Uh, Razmir, bless you. And you. You should all learn something from Brother Danny here. At least he's a loyal member of the cult. <laughs> I said cult. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny there's a lisp on the elves as well. <laughs> it's strange. Um, so, listen. Um, uh, uh, Shania, when she sort of returned to the building... Yep. Um, headed straight for Krant's office. Okay, so yeah. you open the door. You go into the uh, into the main entrance hall where these, there are the tapestries hanging. There are two uh, priests in there with the, two priests with the staffs. Mm-hmm. Uh, the door behind them goes uh, goes into the um, goes into the chapel with the big staircase. Um, the doors either side of them, the door to the north goes into the weapons room, the door to the south goes into the meeting room. Uh, you know from looking at them, there is a staircase in either of those rooms that will take you down to the lower levels. Um, the lower levels, you know how to get to the jail, the cells. Uh, you know how to get to the um, the bedrooms, and you know how to get to the kitchen and the dining room. Those are the only rooms you know of at the moment. Oh, so if Krant okay. has an office, you don't know where it is. Okay. Um, one of the uh, the two guards sort of turn to you as you burst as you come in yourself um, with blood all over you, mm-hmm. uh, and they put their they hold their stars. One says, "Where are you going?" Uh, I was heading for Krant's office. Do you know the way? Who are you? Remove your mask. She removes her mask. You are the new one, aren't you, Naraya? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm the new one, Naraya, this is correct. Uh, Krant was uh, just uh, set us a task. Uh, we have completed the task and he wanted me to uh, go and collect some papers from his office. Deception check, please. Mm. Mm. 16. A 16. Uh, Wait, you didn't have any ranks in deception? No ranks in deception. Just what you're wrong. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> he, uh, he says, that is, that is very strange that he would ask that. He has well, no authority he has a little to bit, uh, He has a little bit to deal with at the moment. He kind of made a mistake. <laughs> You'll see for yourself soon. <laughs> Then he has made two mistakes by sending people, uh, by telling acolytes that they can go upstairs. Acolytes are not permitted to go upstairs. Only, only uh, on the invitation from the heralds may anyone be allowed up there. And Krant does not have an office. What has he been telling you? I see. Okay. Well, uh, this is all on him. I think he's been drinking. Uh, so, um, <laughs> so that's fine. Okay. Thanks very much. Um, if Krant says anything to you, tell him I tried. And she walks off back towards the barracks, wherever we stay. Okay, and you head back down the stairs, uh, back to the barracks. Uh, Krant, uh, so Krant comes in uh, a moment later, or uh, Krant heads back in a moment later, leading the rest of you in their uh, character and Fulton carrying the body. Um, yeah, I scoop up some of the, the, <laughs> the mulch. Oh, Carragher's carrying the body. <laughs> Fulton's just carrying like a handful of just stuff. Rain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Um, the uh, they uh, they get in as you get in one of the uh, guards holding a staff. Just Krant, are you drunk? What? No, of course I'm not drunk. Why are you so unsteady on your feet? <clears throat> they I had a bad. I had a bad chili. It's the <laughs> Car- Carigor, uh, Carigor addresses the guard, uh, bows his head, mm. and said, "With respect, brother, uh, brother Crunt has been through a, an awful ordeal today on several different occasions. Uh, although in my type of character, I'm sure it's not a uh, sign of his lax in duties or his intention. Isn't that right, brother Crunt?" Yes, yes, that's absolutely right. Uh, nothing. I'm the island control. I'm in control of this situation. The two guards kind of look at each other and they look at the body. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly the heralds have chosen well in their choice of you as the person to train the recruits, Krant. Oops, sorry, it's a bit of brain just fell down. <laughs> put, put it on the next stump, put oh, it on the next yeah, stump here, yeah. hold it for you. This oh. is not the first time you have lost an acolyte. Take them downstairs. He uh, takes a... Uh, the uh, guard takes a key from his belt uh, and hands it to Krant. Says, you know what to do with it. Krant says, of course I know what to do with it. I should have my own key by now. Anyway, come on. And he leads you through the um, he leads you through the armory where there is another uh, priest standing guard. Uh, and he leads you down the stairs. He, once you get down the stairs, rather than turning right and going into the accommodation area, he turns left back towards where the prison cells were, um, and he uh, op- um, and says, "I, oh, I can't carry him on my own. Fine, look, the rest of you, I want you to go back there. Danny, you can stay with me. I can trust you at least. You can trust me. I'm strong. You trust me, you know." I can't thrust you as far as I can throw you, which would be very far because listen, I'm very strong. Listen, I, I just didn't want to fight my brothers. That's why you can trust me. Brother Crunt, if I may advise, um, uh, the dwarf uh, is a noble and dangerous opponent, one to be relied upon. I've seen that now, facing him face to face. However, that one, in Caragor nods at, at Baba, <laughs> is uh, disrespectful and disloyal in my eyes. I, I, if I were to trust one of the two of them, I'd pick the dwarf over, over that one, obviously. That's right. Jimmy Two Beaks and Belda, you go back to the go back to the competition. You two can help me carry this mess. Oh, brother Crunt yes, as well. Uh, just one last thing, uh, brother Bell. You're pronouncing it wrong. It's pronounced brother Bellend. <laughs> brother uh, Bellend. No, no, no. <laughs> it's Belda. Bellend. Silence, Bellend. <laughs> <laughs> if you want you to have a good name, you should have fought for it. <laughs> I, but I. Fine. <laughs> I cast Flaming Sphere. <laughs> no, <I don't>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Burn him. <laughs> You're dead. He unlocks. Uh, he, uh, he waits for the two of uh, Belder and uh, Belder and Jimmy Two Beaks. Do you uh, uh, that way or? come along, Jimmy? Let's um, let's go back to the punks. Come on in. Okay, you're back. Uh, so you go back to uh, where Shania already is. Uh, he then turns and unlocks the door. He said, "Look, your white robes are not supposed to be through this door." Uh, if, I, if ever you're found back here, you'll be in a huge amount of trouble. So don't go telling anybody that I brought you back here. It's only yes, because sir. I need you to help carry this rubbish. Hey, how often do you come down here, brother? I come down here very rarely. Well, when I'm invited by the heralds, I come here, of course, because I can be very important. But the heralds are the ones who permit people to come down here. Only yeah. they and the door guard have the key. Uh, just quickly, before we go in, permission to speak brother so well uh the guard upstairs said that uh it's not the first time a brother has been lost and uh your training what happened there was there was an accident uh there's been some accidents in the past there was there was uh, this halfling who was just wasn't strong enough took a bad hit through one of the fights had to get had to deal with that there was uh, it was the elf as well who... I don't want to talk about it. No, okay. Yes, sir. And not everyone is a good acolyte like you. Here. He opens the door. It leads to a... Uh, leads to like a walkway. 
It's a, uh, it's a stone floor. It's very dark down here. It's lit by the same sort of green glow. But you can tell that although it's a wall along one side, the other side, there is no railing. It's just just a drop. It just goes, just drops away. Um, so he leads you a little way along that. You can see at the other side. It's really hard not to do the lisp. <laughs> Not doing descriptions. Um, you can see the other side. There is a door that seems to lead onwards, but he stops halfway along. <laughs> Throw the body down there. We. Hey. I toss. Yeah, we toss the body down. Okay, you toss the body and the mulch. As I do, uh, as Caragor yeah. does, he has a look down to see what else is down there. Okay, you can see down there seems to be a. Uh, it seems to be a stone floor. Um, it's about twenty feet down. Uh, it's like a sort of uh, an artificial pit. It's been uh, built out of bricks, and you can see there are uh, there's a couple of fairly large-ish holes um, in the side of the wall uh, on the ground that are kind of crawl height, like you could crawl through them. Um, Brother Crunt, um, throwing this body down onto just stone, it won't break down or go anywhere. Um, what 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 what's going to happen to this body? Oh, don't you worry about that. They'll take care of it. Come on, let's get back outside before uh, we have to uh, find it before anyone knows I brought you back here. Can I, like, uh, be like, say, well, just like take my time in coming back and see if I can be the last person to see sure. down by where the body is. Yeah. Okay. And so see you if I see of anything. Dawdle, um, on the way out. You start. You make a perception check. Oh, this is where you roll a natural one and you fall in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Um, Twenty-four. Okay. Uh, you hear a you hear a sort of slithering noise coming from somewhere down in the pit. Sounds like something big sliding along stone. Um, suddenly, crank with a Brother Sultan, get a move on with you. Yes, sorry, sir. You hear there's suddenly a, a noise from down in the pit, and you kind of look back. Having looked up, you look back down just in time to see the uh, the body just disappear down one of the holes. Cool. Um, dear. Did tell him to breathe a word of what you've seen here. I yes, promise, brother. Promise we're alive, brother. Good. For that, the two of you are excused from transcription duties tonight. Um, here. He takes a wine out, a bottle of wine out of his robes and hands it to uh, Caragor. Enjoy that while the others are doing your work for you. Thank you, brother. Grant. Thanks, brother. Uh, one last thing as well. In my uh, nightly prayer tonight, having uh, been inducted martially into this church, I would like to offer a prayer to those who have fallen before. What was the name of the halfling that you lost? Oh, I don't remember his name. I don't remember any of their names. Fuck! What about the Scott. elf? The elf? You said there was an elf. She's not worthy of any of your prayers. Trust me on that. Oh. And trust me, if you're l don't worry. If you're lucky, one day we'll see her again. Oh, I thought she was dead. Mm, she is to us. And don't worry, she will be one day. Just mark that. People who cross the people who cross me don't last very long. Aye, understood, brother. I know I ought to learn that as well. Make sure he knows what happened here. Uh, Aye. Don't tell anyone else. <laughs> because I heard Wait, not you, just, you just said <laughs> not to tell anyone. Yeah, no, I, I mean, like, say that something bad happened. Or, <laughs> I just be creative with it. Gave right? my I word, brother Cran. I don't know what to... Uh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll just stipulate You're confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> He falls in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you close it. No, as soon as he locked the door um, outside, as um, one of the uh, one, um, one of the priests uh, in the grey robe comes down with the stairs, says, "Brother Crant, what are you doing back there? Nothing. Just taking the acolytes back to their back to the, 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 their rooms." She looks. Uh, across the three of you. What is happening here, Acolytes? Uh, sorry, we got lost. We were coming down. Uh, we didn't know where we were going because we're quite new. Um, and uh, luckily, Brother Crancy, he, he was here to tell us where to go. 
Brother Crancy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Crancy. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, go ahead, give me a deception check. Can I give? Uh, can I help by nodding along? Or yeah, is that yeah, I know you can assist. Okay. So. Oh yeah, you nod. <laughs> yeah, I got twelve. Uh, is it a deception? Over ten is a success. Oh, okay, then yeah, I got okay. twelve. So, uh, so you get another two on top. So of fourteen. Fourteen. He sort of thinks for a moment. This, hmm. <sighs> Brother Krant and Garthis wants to see you. Upstairs now, Cran sort of looks and wipes some of the chili off his uh, rose. <laughs> Fine. Oh. Can I go? Do you know what to do? And it sends you back. Get back there and go and go and clean yourself up for evening prayers. Are the yes. the person that spoke to us? They're above us, aren't they? They're the grey robes. Grey so robes are above you. Um, I whispered to Carragher as just as he's about to leave. Uh, the guy in the grey robe. Um, can I go? Put in a good word. You're good with your words. Put in a good word about Brother Kranz. And then Carrie got eyebrows up to the the new speaker on the on above us, mm-hmm. and looks at Fulton like that. Do you, as in looks back to Fulton and then to the yeah, uh, yeah. Fulton like nods. Is um, sorry. Before I do brother or sister, what's the apparent gender of the person who spoke? Uh, it looks like uh, looks male. Uh, brother. Brother Crant here has been very uh, accommodating and although put upon quite heavily on, on this day has actually done us great favours and we feel very welcomed into the church under his guidance and then bows. And I go and I sort of nod as well, hopefully assist. Give me a diplomacy check, Fulton, you can assist. Yay. Oh, lucky I got ten. Okay, that's oh. assist, so it's a plus two oh. on top of anything else. So I got a nineteen. A nineteen. Yes. Hmm. Making an impression, Krant. Come on. He nods and then leaves uh, with Krant, uh, leaving you in the corridor. We are now alone in the corridor. You are we? alone in the corridor. But we, <laughs> out of character, we there's no, no point idea. breaking back into that room. Yeah. I haven't got my thieves' tools anyway because we know it just leads to their horrific waste <laughs> dis- disposal, which yeah. we now know, but doesn't help us. You know, that no there's, you know there was another door on the other side of that walkway that you went on, so it does seem to go further. You only went as far as... So we'd have to go on. over the pit? No, no, it's oh. like a... So the door opens and there's like a like a balcony okay. uh, that you walk along. On the other side of the balcony, there's another door that goes further mm. on, uh, or you can go over the side of the balcony into the pit. Um <laughs> Okay. It, yeah, without the so, thieves' tools, it's, it, I might, I might budge it. Also, if we get caught at this early stage, given what's gone on, let's, we're, we're, gone. we're basically amber alert right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the, the, the guard hasn't gone down to green, and also without any, without knowing exactly where we're going or why we need to go there, it might be a bit risky. But yeah, it does seem like a good opportunity. It's the first time we've been left alone and we're out of sight of anybody. So looking around, you've got, a, you're able to, because you don't, you haven't really been through this bit, the uh, temple too much. Uh, you can see now, you can see through sort of a crossroads. Uh, so if we say um, behind you to the to the east um, is the door that you've just come out of that goes to the dis- waste disposal with something else uh, to the north there is another old looking door um, that uh, is closed that you have not been through before to the south is the passage that goes back around to the prison cells so you know the prison cells are down uh, to the south um, and we have to go back there to get back no to the west Okay. Is the passage that leads to the leads to the accommodation area? Mm-hmm. You know the west way pretty well. Okay, um, the west wing of the uh, um, of the underground bit. But yes, so we to could. The south, you could, you could. The prison cells are down to the we south. We could go through the old door. Uh, what the new old door? Yeah. And why? And but then again, it's like if we get caught. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough one, though. It's an opportunity, but I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Because um, he's just like, well, what? What? If we get caught, we could probably blag it one more time where we're like, oh, we just got lost. Yeah. Yeah, you probably got one more in you. Do you know but I, I mean? don't know if we expend that and then we're watched for the rest of the time here. <laughs> but then we know what's, because every other door we know what's behind. Okay. But like, so we know what's, uh, the only thing we don't know is what's beyond the snake pit thing. Yeah. I assume it's a snake. Uh, like Caragor waits. Uh, to make sure there's definitely nobody around and looking and hearing. Mm-hmm. Um, those guards we passed, how how audible, how, what in distance of... So they're upstairs, so they're quite okay, far away. You I shouldn't mean, have to worry about that too much. So, yeah, that door then, 
the the one mm-hmm. we don't know what's behind. Caragor okay. just tries the door handle. It is unlocked, but it feels very <sighs> stiff. Uh, it's going to be a strength check to open. Luckily, we've got the two two guys who can do this here. Okay. Um, can I assist? Yeah. Can we do this? Is there any kind of role we can do to make in case it shrieks open? Mm-hmm. Can we do it st- strongly? but stealthily. Yeah, okay, so uh, go ahead and give me a... um, Give me a thievery check to try and uh, make the... to try and do it stealthily, and then it'll be a strength. If you make this, we're going to do it quietly. Can I assist, or is Uh, it just... uh, No, no. you're not... You're not trained in thievery, are you? No, no, it'd just be a flat trained Mm -hmm. thing. 17. 17, okay, yep, yeah. You reckon you can... uh, You managed to with a bit of guidance, kind of lift it a little bit so it's not grating on the hinges too much. As so you should be able to do it quietly, and now you can make the strength check to open it. Okay. Just a straight strength check. Straight up strength check. <laughs> nine. A nine. It's too heavy for Caragor to move. Caragor, in, in, light of, okay. in light of what's just happened, <laughs> steps aside and lets and points at Fulton. I got the same amount. Uh, I got... 11 and 11 it's enough it's only a DC 10 so Fulton with a bit of strength so Carago you kind of help guide it and Fulton you're able to pull the door open uh, and you can see a dusty corridor with cobwebs hanging on it there is a spiral staircase going d- uh, leading down spiral staircase oh, what do we do it <laughs> while you're considering that back in the um, back in the uh, the mess uh, in the mess hall sitting around the table um, dinner is being served um, is it chili? Is, uh, it is not the chili. <laughs> Unfortunately, something's happened to the chili. It's all spilt. You've you've literally seen the chili on the floor. So if it was the chili, that would be like you'd know where it'd come from. Be floor chili. <laughs> yep. He puts his he puts the soup in front of the three of you. So Belder, Jimmy Two Beaks, and uh, Sister Naraya um, sitting having a. Um, there's actually nobody else around at the moment. The other um, the other brothers have uh, brothers and sisters aren't on this sort of rotation for the meal. You're out of um, uh, you're out of the. Um, time for that. So uh, you are free to have a little bit of a talk if you want to. Um, Sister Noir, what what happened? Yeah. Uh, he's just an asshole, you know. I've uh, dealt with much worse in my time, but, uh, you know, I was... Uh, I tried to help him out. I tried to hold, you know, to, to grapple him to the ground and say, you know, let's stay safe. And uh, then he tried to take hold of me in places that should not, so... He pays a price. He tried. Oh, what? Right. Well, fuck him then. So yeah, right. he deserved it. Right. Well, I um, mean, look, we uh, we uh, what, we're attracting quite a lot of attention, aren't we? We're not keeping a low profile, are oh. we? <laughs> um, but the thing is, and we still lost all the weapons. No, this is not true. What? Really? I know exactly where they are. You do? I was going to check the, the kitchen. kitchen. Were they in there? Oh, I fucking knew it. Yeah, God. I have put <laughs> them up on top of a shelf. I was not sure what to oh, do with them. Well no, no, done. no. Good thinking, good thinking. Well um, they, are, they are out of an eye line, but not out of sight. Does, so. does anyone else know? No. Ah, what are we do? So, right, what, what are we going to do after we've done, after mm-hmm. we've got the weapons? And it would what be, do we do? It would be most excellent if we could find a place to put them where we know that they would be safe and secure. Yeah, right. We need but to find this a spot. is hard to find in such a place. Um, no, we have nothing that is our own here. Is anyone else in the room at the moment, Dan? No, no, it's just you at the moment. Can I have a little perception and see if there's any hidey holes? Any something, uh, you know, a loose floorboard, yep. a uh, uh, a brick that slides out, maybe? Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, like yeah. a poster of like a pin-up girl in like a <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah. uh, what, it was should ten. we all look? Let's all yes. try. Okay. Could... What about twenty nine? There you go. Ooh. Yeah, twenty five. Twenty nine and a twenty five. Okay, so the two of the two of you <laughs> notice that um, uh, the two of you notice that there's a cupboard against the wall uh, that just cover, it's where they, all the bowls and uh, plates and things are kept um, when eating. You can see that a while ago it seems to have uh, one of the legs seems to have uh, come off it, and so it's kind of leaning at a bit of an angle against the wall, uh, and there's. A, 
chairs and things stacked up around it so it might be possible to stash a bag behind that and then stack some chairs and things up around it and it wouldn't be unless somebody for some reason had a, a reason to move the cupboard uh, they probably wouldn't find it there's a lot of dust behind there it looks like yeah okay. cleaned. are you seeing this i'm seeing that yeah, yeah that's okay, how fun, good. Isn't it? bob is over the other side of the room just jumping up and down on a bed <laughs> somewhere <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, 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 Bob, I mean, I mean, two weeks. Hey, yeah. Uh, so we found a place. What do you think? Behind oh, right, cupboard? yeah, the hiding place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that might work. It's okay, quite dusty. Good. Um, uh, is there anyone in the kitchen at the moment? Uh, yeah, the uh, <laughs> Zorog slime dance is washing up at the moment. That fucking guy. Shut up. I mean, uh, I mean, we could we could finish up our soup bowls and then one of us could take them in to get them washed up. We could try and distract him. That's a then, good idea. And then, okay. and then, but if two of us go in, then whilst one person talks to slime, whatever his face is, then yeah. the other person can grab the bag. Okay, good plan. Let's do it. Shall Are I go all finished? Shall I talk to him about like how he makes the soup? Yeah, yeah. You do that. Uh, right. Okay. Do you, do you, are you are you quite stealthy? Uh, yeah, reasonable. Out of character. Who's who's stealthy? Because <laughs> I've got a nine in stuff. I've got eight. I've got seven. Oh, all right, okay. oh, right. Well, maybe, maybe I should be the person who hides the things. Well, you also, I think you're quite, chari- you're talk, aren't you? Quite charismatic, right? Well, so. and that can- yeah, you're the best <laughs> chat because we ain't got no <sighs> chat. No, I ain't got no so. chat. I tell you what, um, I tell you what, um, as he, he knows you anyway, and there's a bit of animosity. Why doesn't uh, Jimmy Two Beaks can mm. talk to him? I'll grab the bag and then you get the hiding spot okay, ready. So I'll just right. quickly nip out. Uh, so listen, it's on top. I describe exactly where it is. Right. Cool. Yeah. Right. No right. worries. Right. Yeah. Okay. Vella comes so back I, with that actual bag of onions. I just, I just, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> yeah. just like they've been in uh, Gardens of the Galaxy. Just keep coming back with different yeah. bits. It's yeah. like, no, no, not that bag. What are you doing? <laughs> I've got this spoon, spoon. So no. Um, oh, right. Onions. All right. Okay. So, uh, so bubble, I'll finish with soup. Bubble yep. walks in with three bowls yep. and three spoons. And... Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> walks over and stands the other side of your man. Yep. Of Slimy. Fine. What's his name? Uh, his name Zorag. is Zorag Slime Dance. Slime Dance. Yeah. Zorag. Zorag. So I go and stand the other side of him. So when he talks to me, he has to look the other way from where the shelf is, if you know what I mean. That they're uh, going to. You all are done with that? Yeah, yeah, done with that. I'll wash this up if you like. I don't mind. Why would you want more? Uh, why would you want more chores? Oh yeah, I okay, guess so. Yeah, you. Do you know what you slime dance? You are you are a, uh, an intelligent man. I, uh, I, I have always thought that about myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you make this soup? Uh, well, he starts listing. Let's go ahead, so, make a diplomacy well, check to see how good his distraction is. And whilst it's going on, yeah, does, let's uh, let's see how good it is because that will give you a bonus to that's your that's my diplomacy. To yeah, your diplomacy first of all. Oh, it's a fourteen. 14 okay so uh, it's, not uh, it's not enough to give you a bonus so it's just going to straight up stealth check against his perception oh it's not bad that's a, that's a 20 it's a 20, 20 mate, yeah. beats his so uh, yes. he's lit while he's listing ingredients Velda you slip him the other door for the kitchen uh, yeah. reach up pull the sack yeah. off the uh, top of the cupboard uh, you have a look inside check it's the right one and then disappear back out of the room again um and then uh, just yeah. parsnips, and then um, Snips, yeah. if you can find some rat, then get a bit, add a bit of meat to it. Put a bit of rat in there. Yeah, put a bit of meat. Put a bit of rat rat protein. Soup I've ever, uh, rat yeah. protein. Yeah, it's a yeah, very right. healthy kind of uh, rat fat. Very healthy fat. Yeah. <laughs> in the other room, I sort of sneak over to Shania and be like, "Here it is," and like pass her the bag. Okay, cool. great. Thanks very much. And Shania secures it behind. You the put cupboards. the bag behind the cupboard. You stack some of the chairs back where it was. You take mm-hmm. a step back and look around. Looks that looks exactly the same as it was. Delicious, right. it was, so mate. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you for saying so, brother. Brother, I, uh, uh, a bit tired now, though, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, I'll probably get on a little bit. Yeah, oh, we'll have a chat another time, though. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, see you later. Nice one, brother. Nice one, brother. <laughs> 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 you head out back. Well done. Uh, well done. Yeah, well we, done. we all high five. Team. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Quite high five. Meanwhile, <laughs> Fulton and Caragor <laughs> are looking at the staircase. Fuck it. Let's go down. All right. Um, st- stealthily, or should we go not trying to hide our steps? I mean, if we're innocent, we don't go stealthily, right? Uh, technically, you got your armor I'm on actually, there. yeah, I know. So I've got actually a plus six to my stealth. <laughs> if it were in m- number form. All right, well, let's go quietly then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? 
If I try to attach a number to myself. <laughs> um, six. But only for a little bit. Oh, but we don't have any weapons. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I know. So anything that's down here, I'm going to back immediately away from. Exactly. And then we run back out. Uh, they're, 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 um, yeah, no, they said upstairs and then downstairs would be there. This could be the same level that whatever that snake slug thing is is on. <laughs> Unless, I mean, logically you'd keep it trapped within a yeah. sort of pit, wouldn't you? You wouldn't let it just roam around. Well, although it did have temple. tunnels. It did have tunnels. It, there was a tunnel going... How many it, tunnels were there, Dan? There was two, wasn't there? You saw two tunnels. Yeah. I, think, I think, from what we've learned as well, up is more important than, yeah. than down. Than down. So the, the bigger well, you are, the, the higher up but they you do, are. They do seem to throw their any, any particular evidence or any any bad things. They do seem to toss down. Yeah. It could be like the Temple of Doom. It could be like a little underground. Also, if we need... Or mine? <laughs> filled with children mining. Yeah. I mean, I'd be surprised if it was, but hey, let's <laughs> see what Dan cooks up. I would put it past the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, you have to push a statue with cues, just minecart race with <laughs> yeah. If we need to find a different way out of here, if we get whatever we need to and need to make a hasty exit, we could. there may be a different one like in, the, in a lower level. Like, so Aye. It might be good for reconnaissance anyway, but tentatively. So we proceed. Okay. We shut the door as well, stealth. though. Okay, you've the shut back the door below, behind you yeah. and you start making your way. It's not like a one. It's not, we haven't shut ourselves <laughs> in now. <have> we? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, the fire escape. Isn't it? <laughs> so oh no! You, you start making your way down the steps. How long? It's gonna be hard. But how long would you say that this hasn't been like, like journey, like the corridor, like? Is it years, like hundreds of years? What, since people have been down here? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Get an idea of that. Uh, 18. 18. Uh, it looks yeah. like... Um, 17. 17. 17. 17. <laughs> oh, well, in that case... I literally was like, uh, no. Ross saw my face. You're not totally <laughs> sure um, how long. You're not totally sure how long. Okay. It looks like this is not used regularly it cool. looks like people don't really come down here uh it's health that's it's the be. vault of conscience <laughs> yeah so. Car- Caragor would like to check for traps okay uh go ahead and give me a, a perception check and you can add any bonuses you get for trap finding if you have uh, any bonuses from trap finding well, look I'm, I'm beth- i think that's a 20 a 20 is pretty good it's at least 18 trap finder this is the one you've got, isn't it? Yeah. You have uh, an intuitive sense that alerts you to the danger and presence of traps. You get a plus one bonus to perception checks to find them. AC against attacks made by them. Um, okay, that's all it is, basically, for the sake of this one. So, 19. A 19. Okay. There are no traps. So, you make your way... Uh, you make your way down... Um, the stairs. You uh, head a few steps down when you hear a clunk underneath you and realize there was a trap. <sighs> but it was one that had a higher DC than you rolled to find it. Uh, suddenly, beneath your feet, the stairs just shift uh, and turn into a slide. Whee! Uh, as goes. <laughs> I need a reflex save oh, from both no. of you. We're fucked. This Please. is not Actually, good. I would like, in all honesty, I would like to know who went first. I would say that I went first because yeah, I was checking, sure. you're checking for the traps. In that case, I need a reflex save from Fulton. Oh. Caragor doesn't get one. It's okay, mate. Don't okay. worry about it. I've right. got a 19. Well, i got a 19 plus 8. So that is... That is enough. 27. Seven. Yay. Yay. Maths. Oh. Learning maths <laughs> by way of James's face. <laughs> so, is that uh, the wrong answer? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Fulton a little bit further back you hurl yourself backwards and land at the top of the stairs just as they go, uh, just as they turn smooth. However, Caragor, oh, you are shit. too far down to be able to leap back. Uh, the tra- the, thing, the um, stairs turn into a, sh- uh, into a slope beneath your feet and you just slip and slide down them uh, away from Fulton. Um, you slide around a corner and then suddenly come popping out of a chute in the darkness. Oh, uh, I no. need an acrobatics check to try and land on your feet. Wow, fuck. It's a 21. A 21. It's not quite enough from what? that you land on you land prone wow. on the ground down in the dark. Um you land prone in the dark. Um looking around, 
It looks kind of familiar. <laughs> looking up, you can see a walkway above mm. you. Looking around, you can see another hole in the ground nearby. Oh. And listening out, you can hear a slithering noise somewhere in the darkness. Uh, what would you like to do? Immediately get up and start climbing. Uh, the The way I came from is just like going to be slippy, slidey, isn't it? It will be, yes. So I'm going to climb what's the immediate the pit around me what's the surface all around me like it's made of stone it's um it's bricks basically it's it's, uh, it's manuated bricks it is might fine be, it might be climbable it's very smooth like it's been clearly been made difficult to climb Fuck. but you might be able to do it um what would be a climb check uh, it's athletics you use to climb i mean it's going to be better than going up a slippy slope you've got one attempt at this oh my god and then <laughs> then the, and then we may be rolling initiative uh uh, okay. okay, climb or run against gravity. Uh, um, if I go back the way I came, it could follow me up and it's going to have an advantage to... No, actually, if it's if this th- thing was ever triggered, it could allow the thing to get back out and all the way up to that door, right? So, and they left it unlocked. They're just leaving this thing to just come through the door. So surely going it back can't. up the slippy slope it is... Wouldn't... Go on. I was just saying, it wouldn't be able to... It depends what it is. Mm, How yes. sheer was that slope when I came down? Do, I mean, I experienced it all the way on my back. Oh, yeah. So it could, is it is it feasible from that that I could go back up it, traverse back up it? Uh, maybe, but the thing, the, the issue is how long it would take you to climb it and whether the trap would reset uh, or whether the yeah, trap would yeah. trigger, uh, it might, um, it might do it again. You would, it's, it's not going to be an easy climb, but then... Climbing up the uh, climbing up the wall won't be an easy climb. Oh God, I don't you know. You won't be able to climb up the wall though, because otherwise it would have done that. Well, other people would have done that. Other right, people, it would have done that. You, it would have done that. You surely. Well, we're assuming what it is. Mm. We don't know. If it's like a giant slug, we're saying it can climb walls. If it's a snake, if it's a snake, snake you do have a weapon climb. as well. You got your bottle Climbing of wine. Up the wall. <laughs> 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 did you get the bottle of wine? I did yeah. get the bottle of wine. You did, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're both shit decisions. Um, <laughs> uh, that I'm going to be there, so don't worry. I'm going to. I tell you what, I'm going to do. It just mean that he's nicely marinated. <laughs> I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll a D6 and okay. leave it to fate. If I get an odd number, I'm going to climb uh, up the brick wall. If I get an even number, I'm going to go up the slippy slope backwards. Okay, nice. Up the hill backwards. Odd number, so it's brick wall time. Brick wall time. So, okay, you run over to the wall and start trying to climb it. Athletics check for me. Oh my god, there's oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Imagine oh my if god. you climb out, look back, and Fulton just comes sliding down. <laughs> <into the stadium. laughs> this is proper Return of the Jedi, isn't it? It's not 23. A 23. Oh, that's a good check. Is not quite enough. Come on, oh, I'm no. so much. You leap at the wall and start climbing up. You get about halfway up and then slide back down onto the ground. Uh, looking over your shoulder, you see a big shape emerge from the hole as an enormous snake comes crawling out from the uh, from the hole uh, and uh, coils in the corner. <laughs> it looks it, at. Um, Why have to be snakes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks across at you, and uh, we are going to roll for initiative. Fuck. Oh. Can Fulton do something? I'm in this initiative, right? You're in this initiative as well, Fulton. Oh yeah. Can I base that? I was using my athletics on the, the when we when we got to initiative. Can I use that for my initiative roll? Yeah. Uh, you can't use that same roll. No. But uh, but yes, I'll, you can you, I'll let you use athletics for it. Thanks. Because, yeah, you're trying to. Um, I got twenty. Fulton got twenty. I got twenty-five. Oh, good. Good. Very nice. It I'm gets more than that. out of character. I'm going to try and see if I can reset the trap. Okay. So you can try and get up. I, but I don't know how you do that. How do you reset the trap? I mean, for someone with no trap abilities, but I'm yeah. not sure you could attempt it. You'll end up coming down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to have to anyway, because I wouldn't leave you down there all on your own. I mean, Brother Fulton, part of a cult, might leave. Or the man who just help. handed his ass how, to him down. How deep is the oh, pit? I could go and get help. How deep is your pit? Oh, that's so good. Good. I could go and get help. Uh, uh, it's so hard to explain, but uh, I mean, it's uh, it's thirty feet deep. You could take off all your clothes, of course, because all our rope and time and a rope, and dangle them over, and that would at least allow oh, Carol to probably go get, get help to halfway. 
Yeah, that's the thing is, that, like, how, how are we going to explain... Oh, we went through this door. I Just mean, so you got um, lost. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong yeah, I mean, and also, I, I mean, you know, blame it on Krant. Yeah, I know, but we just tried to gain his trial. Uh, okay, Krant, well, we'll, see, we'll find out. Anyway. You could safely blame it a little bit on Caragol as well. Like, as brother Danny, he's been doing a lot of groveling. Like, he's banked yeah. a few points with these people. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they, what, if they just go, just leave him, he's dead. Then then I've got my bottle of wine. <laughs> but then I want to say, okay, well, then, well, we'll find out anyway. Out, so yeah. what, did, what did the snake get? Did it get to go first or not? The snake got to go first oh afraid. man this has been the worst the worst <laughs> fucking half an hour looking good the snake crawls uh, slithers over to Caragor coils up um, using its uh, second action um, and it makes a strike at you with its fangs I'm going to tell you the result of that dice roll next week oh! that's where we leave it for tonight Damn. snake fight Damn, man. it's a snake 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 it's a Mission commencing. This is Wookie Radio. Translated for the Wookie Affair. I like that Wookie. Your hosts, Ken, Derek, and Mike, bring you the latest news and commentary from the far reaches of the galaxy. Uh, hold it. Hold it. I said hold it. Subscribe today on iTunes and Stitcher. I just assumed you're some Wookie. Start listening today and remember. The Force will be with you. Always.